boys. I feel the freedom. It's absolutely incredible. I need your help. We did it, boys! Your man, Dirty Max Jack, is now a CDL licensed driver. Class A combination, nothing but the best. We passed this morning, guys. I didn't want to say anything in the last video that my test is this coming Friday, which is right now. It is 11.03 this morning. I started my test at 8.30 and passed with flying colors. I'm freaking pumped. You have no idea. I feel so accomplished, guys. This is a big deal. And anybody that says, oh, a CDL's not a big deal. Well, think about it. A lot of people don't have their CDLs, and I take a lot of pride in what it is that I get done in my life. This is always something that I wanted to do, and it's now done. I gotta give a huge shout out to CNS, Compliance Navigation Specialists, for helping me out throughout this process. Their curriculum and their instructors are bar none. For the few thousand dollar investment that it was, it was well worth my time, because I'm a busy man. I put my family before everything, and then the business, right? under that and with those two things being my top priorities I really don't have much more time that's why I decided to take a class rather than just watch some videos online because I had to hold myself accountable and I had to get it done I know a lot of you guys want to get your CDLs but you're having a hard time really committing to it well what I suggest you do is you make the investment in yourself if you really want it spend a little bit of money it's gonna be well worth it not only because you're holding yourself accountable but mostly because you're gonna learn everything you need to know and that's really important when you're navigating a combination weight vehicle that's north of 70,000 pounds we got Jolin and Jeff over here the instructors. Joan was my instructor trainer. Jeff was my actual proctor and they're both really awesome guys. Nailed the pre-trip, nailed the brake test, did our maneuvers. You're doing a straight line back and offset back where you go the lane next to your lane and then you can choose between a parallel park and an alley dock. I chose the alley dock, nailed that. Went out and drove and got a very nice compliment from Jeff saying that I really know what I'm doing and I take a lot of pride in that guys because before I started this class two weeks ago I'd never driven a semi in my entire life. I'm just so fired up because Honestly, I get really nervous with tests. I uh, am not a test taker by any means. I actually, uh, like barely, I don't even think I passed my ACTs. I think I had a D on them. I had a 2.3 GPA in school, but it just goes to show that this kind of a test isn't a test of your skills and your ability to just kind of regurgitate something on paper. It's the ability to actually get out and drive. And that is something that I for sure excel in. Little bit of Lancaster County vibes coming at you on a Friday. My man is mobbing and he's got a custom enclosure Hell yeah, brother. Now, I actually don't have my piece of plastic CDL license. That'll be in in about two to three weeks. I'm eager to get that. I'm super pumped up, guys. How dare you do All right, boys, quick pit stop down here in Lancaster City. We had to get a fresh cut because we're feeling so aerodynamic with our accomplishment today on the vlog. We've got an empty trailer and we've got the windows down. It's an absolutely gorgeous day in Pennsylvania. You know, I recently just made a somewhat sarcastic post on my Instagram story talking about how you should never move to Lancaster here because it's terrible, mostly because I just want to enjoy it all for myself. It's an absolutely gorgeous county, absolutely amazing area, and restaurants galore. I'm honestly so grateful to live in Lancaster County. I could never talk smack on it. If anything, I kind of feel bad that I did. Now guys, if you haven't heard by now, you're likely living under a rock, and I encourage that you don't live under that rock anymore because it's probably not comfortable, but Dream Diesel Giveaway number 20 just took a huge twist for the better, and that's because we added a Jeep Wrangler that one of you is going to be able to take home for the same entries that you get for convicts. So when you enter, not only do you get 15 times entries, which is a massive multiplier, it gets you automatically entered for both giveaways. So you're not getting entered for one giveaway, you're getting entered for two automatically and both end on the 24th. So Procrastination Nation, your clock is ticking. I cannot make this up. We are 22 minutes away from Peach Bottom Auto Body. I spotted a nice high country and it's got some familiar decals. Let's go ahead and speed up. Hey yo, we got the holy grail and money well wasted. He's got the decals though. Whoever you are, you're the man. Love the high country. And you're on the vlog and you don't even know. What if I don't have a chance to actually tell him who's behind him? Do you think he recognizes me? Maybe, maybe not. I don't really think Misfit blends in by any means. Maybe this is our opportunity. Confirmed his awareness. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Literally made this great day even better. Oh, this day continues to get better and better and better. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back down to Peach Bottom Auto Body. We've got Sean and Corey inside wrapping up on all the paint match parts that are going on the high country. And they always do such a magnificent job of displaying them right here as I arrive. It's like Christmas day over and over and over again. We've got crazy good weather out here, 81 degrees. The sunnies are back out because it's ridiculously bright. And with really nice days comes a lot of motion and movement. 
and dust. So when I show you guys these parts, be mindful of the fact that there's a little bit of dust built up on them. Sean was the nicest guy. He offered to wipe everything down again. He said it already been, it already had all been prepped. But I said, dude, save yourself the work. Everyone gets it, man. Things get dirty because it's a dirty max. Outside boys, or is it just how hot that paint is? Oh my god, how incredible does everything look? It's no surprise to all the OGs that follow along with this channel because we know that Peach Bottom Auto Body down here in Peach Bottom, Pennsylvania is an industry leader in OEM plus aftermarket modifications to anything that's presented to them. And this right here is just yet another example. Now, don't mind all the stone dust that just tends to build up from time to time. I deal with it in my driveway all the time. That is not on the paint, just for the record. As you guys can see, it all blows right off. But we've got everything here for the high country except the mirrors, which Sean and Corey are working on putting together as we speak. Everything looks absolutely incredible, paint matched, as you guys can see. There's a lot of work that goes into this stuff, removing that specific piece off of the grill just to paint it, for instance, getting all these pieces off the truck. And not only just taking them off the truck, but it's all the prep. Everything that you see here was originally a black textured plastic. So the team down here at Peach Bottom painstakingly goes through the sanding process to ensure a perfectly smooth substrate that will adhere to the black paint and give a factory finish. And that's really where the labor, the technique, and the touch comes into play to make sure that you're getting exceptional paintwork versus just okay or average paintwork. Now I'm going to get to the headlights in a minute, which are awesome to see. I cannot wait to put them back on the truck, but I wanted to talk to you guys quick about the grill. I know I didn't reveal the color of the wrap, in the last video, which some of you were a little bit upset about. I know why you're upset. Just believe me, it's for the greater good of the group. My question is, do we leave the grill black? We, you can see we got it all paint matched. This used to be chrome. Or do we do this grill insert color match? I'm gonna put it on the truck at first to see what it looks like black, but it might have to go wrap to match. And that's a simple process where we'll just get this wrapped, but only time will tell. Other than that, everything else is ready to rock and roll. We've got our black Duramax badges, black handles, a piece of the mirror, which they're probably going to be grabbing shortly, all of our step wells. We've got our mud flaps. We've got our fender flares. This is the high country specific lower trim on the bumper. We've got a really nice moderate tint. We like to call this the enthusiast mixture on the taillights. It's a perfect blend of dark yet not too dark. We've got fog lights custom built in-house by Sean at Peach Bottom. I've been so busy lately that honestly, I just let these guys do it. They're down here, they're taking everything apart and it really reduces the intransit complications that can happen by taking headlights apart up at the shop and then bringing them the whole way down here. There's just a lot of movement. You gotta be extra careful with headlights. These guys are the ones for the job. Now speaking of, if you have headlights that you wanna get built, but you're not really sure yet who you should go to, maybe give them a call. It could be a perfect opportunity to get done exactly what it is that you're looking for without any worries whatsoever. And then coming over to the headlights, probably one of the biggest characteristics of what will be the front end that complement and tie everything together. They're all blacked out on the inside. These fins used to be chrome, now are blacked out. There's actually factory carbon fiber on the inside, which we kept. And then of course the chrome on the back is where your light reflects. So you don't want to black that out. Otherwise you're going to lose functionality of your headlight. But all the bezel other than that and the chrome piece up top here, has been blacked out and then we left the DRL lenses up top and on the bottom clear because I just think they look sick. It really gets me thinking guys should we do a set of blacked out headlights and fog lights on Misfit? You guys got to drop a comment below. I know that Misfit hasn't gotten much attention lately mostly because it's just the daily workhorse and it is an awesome truck. It's never let me down but there's a lot of things that I want to get done to it. That is for sure. Wow it's hot out here. 81 degrees. Dude it's October. Probably gonna snow tomorrow. just pulled out of Peach Bottom Auto Body and we were granted with my first experience of seeing one of the new Broncos on the road. Now, I kind of don't think that the Bronco is in its fullest form because they don't have hard tops on them. Ford has been just delaying and delaying and delaying. I think they're really awesome. It looks pretty neat back there. It kind of seems to have the same road presence as like a Jeep Wrangler. I had actually ordered a Bronco some time ago. It was like end of 2019. I'm losing complete track of time. They're delaying them because of the hard top manufacturing or supply shortage that they're running into and the chip shortage that's hitting all of the automakers across the board. Nice cab over here. 
old freight liner. That thing was freaking mint, man. But I don't know, boys. Like, I've got mine on order. I just don't really know if I'm going to really want one because the new Rubicon with the diesel in it is absolutely awesome. And I'm very privy to diesels. It's just a different driving experience. And I'm still waiting on it. I have absolutely no idea when I'm supposed to receive it. They sent me like a hammock some time ago. And I think that they think that that's supposed to make me feel better about the fact that I don't have my vehicle because I have a hammock now. There it goes. I don't know, what do you guys think about them? When you're seeing them on the road, it's a little bit different than online. Now granted, that's probably a little bit of a lower trim level. I ordered the Wild Track, I believe, with the Sasquatch package, hard top, infotainment system, leather interior, all that good stuff. But I don't know, I think I like the rear of the Jeep Wrangler more. That's just me. Maybe they have to grow on me, maybe I have to see one modified a little bit, but my wife's Rubicon, it looks perfect, and it's completely stock. I don't know, maybe they'll grow on me. We'll see what happens. This is my first one, so I can't be the judge of it yet. Peace out, on day. That's my buddy Andy with his 6'7", second gen swap S467. Whirly Fab setup on his fourth gen Cummins 2018 Laramie, and it is really nice. Sounds even nicer than it looks. He might, he might actually rip on it. Hold on one sec, let's see. He might. I mean, he will watch this. It's almost like I know my friend. And he's got those super crispy shifts with his uh, Muldoon 68. He's done that truck really, really well. I gotta give him credit. Maybe we'll do a review of it sometimes. But anyway, guys, we're back to the shop. It's nighttime out now. We've been skipping all around, got stuck in a bunch of traffic. I apologize for jumping around. So I took some time here off vlog to kind of get everything into the shop. As you guys can see, we're all organized and ready for our installation. We do need our sealant to cure just a little bit longer on our headlights before we actually go into the reinstall. We've got the truck here hanging out and there's still a few things that we need to wrap on it. I'm sorry again that I'm not revealing the truck quite yet. I think it would actually kind of soil the color that we're gonna do. And really right now, it looks awesome. I can see what the end product's gonna be. And I'm holding out on you guys because it's gonna look absolutely incredible when it's done. It's just right now, it really doesn't do any justice to the color and what the color will be. But we do need to do a little bit more wrap on this as well. So Brody and Ryan, they're actually out in California as we speak. They're gonna be coming back. And when they come back, they're gonna be visiting the shop here and they're gonna be getting some of our fender flares wrapped up. We're gonna be doing our mud flaps. We're gonna wrap them up. And there's a few other pieces that we need to color coordinate. And since giving it some thought and putting the grill up next to the truck, we're actually going to color coordinate with this center bar as well. It's just a little bit too much black and it kind of immediately reminded me of like work truck black, which I definitely am not going for it. First, I thought that just the bow tie color match would be enough, but it's not gonna be enough color to really break apart all the black with that piece, the headlights, the fog lights, etc. All right, now that being said, guys, I've got my CDL and I can drive things with air brakes finally on my own without those that actually helped me out and chaperoned me throughout the last few months. And to those of you that helped me, I really appreciate it. You know who you are. Boys, I need your help. It is really hard to find what I'm looking for. And that's a 359 or a 379 long nose Peterbilt with a rollback on it. It can be a triaxle or a dual tandem. It really doesn't matter to me. I just wanna find a right deal and something with potential. I found a really cool one on Facebook local here to me, but it's got a 3406A, which really aren't all that tunable. It's pretty beat up and the guy's asking an astronomical amount of money for it. Way, way, way more than it's worth. It needs a lot of work. It's sat for a while. I don't think it's really going to move. Ideally, I'd like to get something like 3406B, C12, 6NZ, C15, anything along those lines in an already pre-configured long nose 379 or 359 with a rollback on it with a PTO and all that good stuff. That's the ideal situation. The second runner up is a 359 or a 379 with those motor options I listed, 13 or 18 speed trans, one or the other. So we have high lows and we can split. It's a lot more fun driving it that way. Tractor that then we can retrofit to a trailer, preferably something with a stretch frame already. That way we can work it in. That's my criteria. I've been hunting, but I haven't been finding. And I wanted to utilize my epic network of enthusiasts to see if we can try and hunt something down to get it onto the channel. So that being said, let's start hunting, boys. So that being said, boys, that's where we're gonna wrap up this upload. Thanks as always for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like button, and notification bell, grab your last minute 15 times entries before Dream Diesel giveaway number 20, convict and 30 grand, plus the other giveaway, which is the RIP Supercharged JLU ends. This is a massive way of us saying thank you for getting us past 20 giveaways. We are so grateful over the last three years to be able to do what we do and legitimately change lives. And this time with DDG20, we're not changing one, but we're changing two, and one of them might be you. <laughs>